Hi hey guys, what's going on? Okay, so I am uh, fishing, and because uh, I really wanted to find a name tag, and uh, so I fish out um, two fishing poles. One, which was another, uh, yeah, lure two and unbreaking three, and so I'm thinking, okay, so. Um, this is my original fishing pole, the Lure 2, Lucka C2, and Unbreaking 3, okay? So I pull out another fishing pole, and it also is enchanted, and it has a Lure 3, and Unbreaking 3, and Luck of the C3. <laughs> so this is actually much, much better than uh, my original fishing pole. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. So I tried to com uh, combine my Luck of C2 and lure two and I'm breaking three with this fishing pole to you know to you know repair the fishing pole because it was it was damn near broken when I found it uh, and it was like it was like an enchantment cost in the anvil of like I think it was like thirty five or something like that what I'm like okay so I try making just a regular old fishing pole to to repair this and it was like a cost of two. <laughs> to do it. It's like, what? I don't understand. You know, because it was super cheap to repair it. So, anyway, so that's the fishing pole that I am using presently. And I still haven't used it. I still haven't used it yet. So, cause, but I'm really excited to. But I, I had to update you guys on what was going on because it was super cool. So, I did end up finding a name tag. And... I spent like an hour trying to figure out how to use the freaking thing because, you know, I, I attached the name tag to my hand. Like, let's say I'm holding it. And I, I must have left click like half a million times on Charlie, <laughs> uh, you know, trying to name him, like getting on and off of him, you know, trying to, you know, interact with the, you know, his, his saddle menu and shit and everything. So finally, I decided to go on you know, the internet and look up how to use. And turns out that in order to use a name tag, you have to go into the anvil, put the name tag in here, and it'll give you an X with uh, no result. But all you have to do is come up here, click on this, and uh, it allows you to uh, do a text uh, field. And so you just throw up the name, and it, it's, an, it's a cost of one, you know, which is, isn't bad. And then, yeah, and then bam, you get your name tag. And so thus is Charlie. What's up, Charlie? <sighs> All right. Well, I wish I would have got the opportunity to name to name Lucky as well. But it's okay. It's okay. Well, this is probably going to be a fairly um, fairly quick episode. I'm not sure like what I'm planning on doing. I know I have to do brewing because I have watermelon, I have gold. Um, I, it turns out I had gold. I thought I was going to have to look for, look for a bunch, but I have plenty, I think. And plus I know where to get more. Um, I have, yeah, well, oh, okay. I have, um, I have 17 gold ore here. So that should be a good amount of gold to make some, uh, to, to craft some like golden, oh, golden melons and golden apples. That'll be actually a crafting thing, I believe. Um, not a brewing thing. So I'm probably, let's see. I don't have a crafting chest, but I should I should make one. Um, I don't know where I would put one. I'm running out of room here. Okay, well, hmm. where should I put a crafting chest? Well, I'll just go ahead and I'll put a crafting chest. A little out of place, but I'll put it right here. Oh, I can't put it right here for whatever reason. I don't know why. Why couldn't I put one here? Okay, well, I'll just put one right here. Okay. So, um, things for future crafting, um, yeah, I will go right there. Um, I was going to take a ride on Charlie, but I was so excited to do an episode that I just haven't yet, and I will wait. I will wait on that. I'm going to do some fishing and look for another, uh, for another name tag. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, because I'm excited. I want to name my horses. I want my horses... To be my own before they despawn. I love you, Charlie. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, well, um, yeah, well, I, I have better luck of the sea now, so maybe I'll get a name tag sooner um, this time. Did take me a little while. Not all that long, though. But, oh, and before I go and do my fishing, I'm going to show you some of the enchanted books that I found. I made another chest for enchanted books. Okay, so power three, looting two, respiration three. I, I don't know what respiration does yet, but it seems like a pretty powerful book. Then I got the power of four. I believe I showed you that one already. Oh, okay, aqua affinity one, flame one, knockback two, and depth strider three. Um, aqua affinity and depth strider, like, that's like... I think breathing underwater for longer, or, well, I mean, holding your breath longer, or whatever. Being able to be underwater for longer. Uh, and then the knockback two and flame one, seem, is, is that? I wonder if that's like a, a, a damage property for a weapon. I'm not sure, but, yeah, it seems pretty strong. Um, not so much the water stuff, but the knockback and flame seems, <clears throat> seems pretty good, so. And then my knockback of two. So, yeah, d did pretty lucky with those. Um, let's see here, and then, oh yeah, this was the power, power three, punch one. I have a feeling that I can combine this with another enchanted bow. No, I'm not going to enchant, uh, combine it with that one. I really want to combine it with something that has infinity, and then it will be badass. It will be, it will be so badass if I combine that with an infinity. Because with the punch one, not only do I get infinite arrows, but I get extra damage with, you know, against the dragon, so... Uh, I went into all that, um, before, you know, last episode, so I don't really need to. Um, but yeah, the update Charlie is named. Uh, I'm going to do my best to name Daniel as well. And yeah. Yeah. Um, got very, very lucky. I suggest uh, anybody that has the opportunity to enchant a fishing pole uh, do so. It's, it's neat. It's, you know, you get a little extra, you know, personal stuff to do what you need to do. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I'm going to do some fishing, see if I can find some more cool shit. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Um, I got a, a enchanted book of efficiency 3 and protection of 3. Um, I'm thinking, I'm not sure if efficiency works on armor, but efficiency and protection on armor may be pretty good. Uh, the efficiency, um, I think, goes better for tools like pickaxes, but protection is totally like a weapon or item thing or not not a item thing but a armor like a weapon or item or <laughs> weapon or <laughs> weapon or armor okay because if you have this on a sword um it would have good efficiency and add protection as well as having your armor protection as well so it'd be like five things instead of four with protection on it um but i'm thinking it may go best on armor you know because if the efficiency works boosts the armor's protection, and then plus protection on top of that would make a, a really good piece of armor. So, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look look it up to see. But, um, okay, back to some fishing. Be back, guys. Okay, um, it's been about a minute. Um, I just got an enchanted arrow. This one has a punch two and power of four. That's That's pretty crazy. If I can combine that with an infinity, like... That's, like, that's even better than the other one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty, uh, pretty decent. So I'm gonna stack this over here. <laughs> yeah, score. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll be back with some more cool shit, guys. Guys, okay, it's been... Oh, between five and ten minutes, I got another name tag, so I'm happy. <laughs> I get to name Daniel, and so both both my horses are named, and they are mine, and will not despawn uh, unless there's a serious, you know, glitch type of deal in the game. So I'm extremely happy. Let's name him. This is how you name the name tags. All right. Okay, how do you spell Daniel, anyway? Is it... Is it D-A-N-I-E-L or I-A-L? I think it's E-L, but let me let me make sure real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, it's E-L. All right, so... Yes. That is, Done. All right. Oh. 
That is so nice. I am just, I am just so thrilled. My God. All right, so um, I got another saddle. By the way, I got two saddles uh, this this session. Um, altogether, about fifteen minutes of doing that. Um, so let's see. I got four saddles altogether right now. Um, I'm still uh, going to keep their saddles off of them and their armor uh, for when they're just uh, when they're parked, you know, um, and stuff because in case there is a problem, like if let's let's say you uh, you you lead them to a fence post, like out off in the you know like next to a cave, like I did the first time. And they, they do kind of glitch into the environment. Um, then you still, you know, and die. Then you still do have the equipment, you know, your, your saddle and armor and stuff. That, you know, so you wouldn't lose that. So, yes. Um, anywho. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's name uh, Daniel. Yes, he's Daniel now. <laughs> All I see was left like. Daniel and Charlie. I love you guys. How does it feel to be officially named Daniel? Good? Good. Alright. So, I'm not sure that you guys have seen how fast Daniel is. Um, I know that you've seen, yeah, you've, you've seen Charlie move. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's see. Um, I, I think Daniel looks best in the in the diamond armor. I, I know that I liked the iron best on Charlie. He looks good in the ar iron armor. So, but okay, let's see. I'm gonna get the saddle. Yeah, the yeah the diamond looks pretty good on him. So, and it, it makes him look kind of like a Daniel too. I don't know. I don't know. But you can already kind of tell how how fast he is. He's pretty pretty fast. in my boat. I always got live random livestock. Yeah, pretty decently fast. I don't I don't know if compared to Lucky, I don't know how fast he is. He seems pretty fast though. Definitely faster than running, that's for sure. Very nice having a horse. Very, very nice. Indeed. Okay, is that a, nope, not a cave to speak of. I owe Daniel away. <laughs> that totally does not go. Does not fit. Oh, shit. Sorry, Daniel. But if you're a little bit careful, then you wouldn't get hurt. <laughs> Pay attention, boy. Damn you. I could totally give a tour of, like, the beginning environment that we literally first started in and all the way through the whole map in like two seconds like well that's the tour of like the entire you know freaking series you know it's like and i landed this house here now yeah, let's do a full episode <laughs> yeah well, what is this i didn't bring a, a fence post with me so i can't well i'm not leaving him, so Oh, it looked deeper there for a second. It looked like it may have been like a ravine or something like that. So, but yeah, that would have been kind of a cool find, like huge, some huge, like unexplored ravine or whatever. Oh, go! Just get through the damn shit, boy. Just kidding, Daniel. You're a good boy. Okay, let's see. Going around the bend here, coming around the mountain. I'm coming around the mountain, as I freaking feel like. All right. I think our place is over here. Yeah, probably right around here. Yeah. Why don't I remember? Well, no, I probably, probably I'm just like spacing it out, but yeah, I just for some reason I don't recall this, this cave right here. The only real cave section is that right there. 
Enough dicking around. Let's get with it. It's funny how, like, when you stop and really look around, like, how much stuff you can mess, you know? Oh, I'm going this way. Wrong way. Oh my gosh, really? Okay, I didn't bring a lead, did I? No, of course I didn't. <sighs> Bad sense of direction, I'm telling you. It's me every time. It seems like he's pretty fast. I, th I think I think my very first white horse was the fastest that I found. Um, I think he was even faster than, faster than Lucky. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention that uh, the color of the horse, um, I do not believe, uh, matters. It's the number of hearts on the horse um, that determines their speed. So, yes. What's up, Charlie? Um, okay. I'm thinking about... Oops. If you duck and then click them, then you can, without getting on them, can do this. Okay. Yeah, you look better in the iron armor, don't you? Yeah, that's all right. Come on, Charlie. Okay, take you out for a little ride too. Okay, um, it's starting to actually get dark. We better sleep before we head out. I'm gonna, I think, maybe start a, a deal with uh, horses. Um, it'd be kind of cool to uh, see how many different speeds I can get, you know. I don't know what the fastest horse, or uh, the fastest, of, like, amount of, like, hearts you can get. Um, I'm going to have to look that up and see. But I, I'd like to end up landing something, like, insanely fast. That'd be, you know, pretty sweet. You know, being able to zoom around, like, <laughs> get pretty much anywhere on the map you need in, like, no time at all. It'd be super convenient, like, if I needed to get something somewhere, you know what I mean? So... Yeah. yeah, let's take a brief gander. This will be a episode of Fortune. Having uh, acquired badass items and, you know, uh, great horses and shit. I want to pick a spot for um, doing... Okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to pause it, and then I'm going to make a uh, uh, spot for horses. I will be right back. And it froze, ladies and gentlemen. Freeze number two. I blame the update. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I had, I had, a, had a fenced in area for my horses for a bigger space for uh, my horses to run around. Plus, I was going to lure a couple of ho more horses in there. Um, you know, uh, so. Yeah. And I had just now finished my bridge going from my little island place over to where the horses it was my fenced area was in the prairie where the horses spawn over there and so but anyway yeah yeah all in all a uh, pretty fortunate episode I, I saved after i got you know all my cool shit so uh anywho yeah i'll just uh continue doing what i was doing so anyway i better call it good from here uh yeah till next time guys later